What's going on? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of Legacy Move Gas Station Podcast. Before we get started, I need y'all to get your likes up. Get that like up, man. Get that like up. Subscribe to the channel. And also, hit the notification button. And share with somebody, share with a friend. Make sure you share. So they can get this good game like you get. So they can be part of the family like you are. Encourage somebody, build somebody. Make somebody better, you feel me? How y'all doing, man? Y'all get your three W's, man? You get your three W's, man? You get your word, 30 minutes of word, your 30 minutes of wisdom, your 30 minute workout. Say, man. Say, don't let me find that. I'm the only one nutritious around here. Nutrition's in the mind, the body, and the soul, man. Hey, man, that's what we're doing. That's what the gas station is for. For you, love the mind, the body, and the soul, man. You know, fill up somebody else's tank, man. Fill up somebody else's tank. You know, we got to get that word, that wisdom, and, and that worker every day, man. You know, and I got to add it bonus, man. Make up your bed every day. Yeah, make up your bed every day, man. You just completed four things a day. Got your 30 minutes of word, got your 30 minutes of wisdom, got your workout, and made up your bed. Yeah, it's going to make you feel better, man. It's going to enhance your day, make your day better, and have you in the right mindset for the rest of the day. Have you in the right mindset for the rest of the day. Today, in the gas station, podcast, man, makes it move, man. We're going to talk about Who you are. We're gonna talk about who you are. Did you know that you a lottery winner? You won a lottery. You won a lottery. Hey, see me, I'm a it was a hundred million and one odds to make it to earth. Guess what? You made it. Out of all hundred million of this sperm that your daddy released in your mama, guess what? You were the one who made it. You were the one who survived the treacherous terrain, the battle that you had to make in the nine months of birth to get here. Everybody else died out on the way. He was a long survivor, man. He was a long survivor, man. You won a lot of it. Now the question is, I got a question. What have you done with your lottery winning? I know we can go and look at the surface bullshit lottery that's in the corner store that they put on the TV. A hundred million dollars a billion dollars. Million dollar lottery. Guess what? Your lottery is even bigger than that. Your lottery was the gift of life. Yeah, your lottery was the gift of life. What did you do? What have you done with your lottery when while you sitting up talking about his lottery winners? Worried about what he won in the motherfucking lottery. What'd you do with your lottery winnings? You won the biggest part of it all. Your life. Are you maximizing your opportunity? Your life? Are you maximizing that greatest gift that you got, that lottery winner that you got? Or are you worried about somebody else's lottery? Are you begging somebody else? Are you wasting time? Or are you like the other 70% of lottery winners? You know they say lottery, you know they say 70% of lottery winners do? Go bro. Go bro! 
Are you gonna be part of that seventy percent? Are you gonna squander your resources and willy nilly and have fun your whole goddamn your whole lottery winning? Cause yeah, you won the lottery just like you see a motherfucker at the corner store. Though. You like you see that people at the corner store. You won the lottery too. God gave you the greatest lottery gift you can win. The, the day is. You won the lottery. You beat uh, a billion sperm cells, a hundred million sperm cells to make it here. Your lottery number was P. What'd you do with it? What are you doing with it? What are you doing with it right now? You got an opportunity still. The rest of your lottery winning, the last rest of the year that you hear on earth to make the best of it. You don't have to keep squandering your lottery winning. You can make ch better choices with your lottery winning. Legacy moves, legacy moves, man. Gas station radio, man. Gas station park. I used to have a radio station, man. With this radio show, but man, now, you know, I'm podcasting, man. Just like everybody, I'm YouTuber, man. Ain't God good, man? God give me a voice, give me a word, man. Legacy moves, man. Y'all see what it is. You understand me? What are you doing with it, man? You know, what are you doing with your lottery winner, man? You lottery winner, you. You lottery winner, you. It's a billion motherfucker jealous of you because you won the lottery. What the heck are you doing with your lottery winning? What can people say at your lottery? When they look at your portfolio, when they look at your inventory, when they look at your life, what can they say you did with your lottery winnings? Did you bless somebody with your lottery winnings? Did you multiply your lottery winnings? Did you invest your lottery winnings? Or did you just give it away? Did you just waste it? Did you just waste your life? What did you do with your lottery winnings? You won the lottery. All right. I know you're looking at that, that, that lottery in the store and you say, oh, that, that's a, no, that ain't the real lottery. That's a fake lottery. That's the bullshit lottery. The real lottery is when you came out that womb. When God blessed you out of all the other sperm cells that could have made it. He chose to bless you and make sure that you won the lottery. Make sure that you came out of that womb. I don't give a damn your mama was a dolphin. I don't give a damn if your mama was uneducated. I don't give a damn if your mama was a doctor. I don't give a damn if your mama was on crack. I don't give a damn if your mama was a prostitute. I don't give a damn uh, if your daddy was incarcerated. I don't give a damn if your daddy didn't show up. I don't give a damn if your daddy was abusive. I don't give a damn. Guess what? Everything God do is perfect. He designed that detour on your journey to success. Yeah, he designed that detour on your journey to success. But all you did was cry and complain about it. All you cared about is having somebody hear you out. But guess what? Nobody gave a damn because you're a lottery winner. You're a lottery winner. You won the motherfucking lottery. You won the lottery. You beat a billion people out to make it here. And all you do is cry and complain. All you do is bitch and moan. All you do is tell us about your problems. Today is the day the Lord has made. 
you should rejoice and be glad in it because guess what you did, man? When you hit the earth, planet earth, you won a lot of them. You blessed, man. You favored. You excellent. You got what it takes. You showed you got what it takes when you beat out a million, million sperm cells. You had what it takes from the beginning. Before you even got here. It's up to you. It's up to you to make the best of your opportunities. I don't hear no crying. I don't hear no complaining. I don't hear no bitching. I don't hear no moaning. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear no bullshit. I don't care. Because you, you, hear you, I'm talking to you. You want a lot of it. You're in the gas station park head. If you're a family member of the gas station park head. If you're a family member of YouTube. If you're a family member of Legacy Moves, man. If you put this show on, man, guess what you did? The only way you could listen to this is because you are a lottery winner. You can't even listen to this if you ain't no lottery winner. What you gonna do with it? Shit, shit, or get off the pot. How about that? Shit or get off the pot. your life. It's up to you to make the best of it. It's up to you to be a winner. It's up to you to embrace that winner. Because guess what you did? You won the lottery. Legacy move. Gas station park, yeah, man. Stay away from bullshit, man. Act like you're a lottery winner. That is who you are. Act like who you are. Don't waste the moment. Don't waste the time. Because time is moving fast. And if you don't take advantage of your lottery winning, you will go broke like the other 70% of lottery winners. Legacy move, gas station, park, and man, stay no to drugs, say no to anything stupid, say no to dumb stuff, man. Maximize your lottery winning, man. Your life, because that is better than any lottery you're going to win at that store or what the government try to give you or whatever, man. You understand me? You got the greatest lottery winning of all, and that's your life, man. Hey. You the man, man. You the motherfucking man. Legacy move. Gas Station Podcast. Y'all know what it is, man. Number Nutrition, man. I'm out.